this is uh, time to start the presentation. I am, I am Janusz Binder, and today I will, I will talk about uh, scripting in an, in an Eclipse RCP-based application. I will, I will, I will show how to, how to put uh, scripting from the, from the, from basically from the, uh, from the grounds. And I will also give a live demo. And you might ask why is why 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 scripting is is important for us. We work with a, we work with a lot of scientists who uses uh, scripting so to to use some uh, calculations. And we have a lot of uh, users from the university, and they they uh, they they mostly use scripting lang languages. Before I go further, I have a I would I have a, a short question. Does does anybody know where is this bar? This yes, any guesses? Yes, exactly. So, 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 so that there is a church here on the Stuttgart Street, and then this morning I have been uh, passing by and I have seen this bar, and I think it is. Uh, yesterday we had a had a pretty pretty good uh, party. And maybe next year I would like to try how is it to get uh, how is it to get uh, a, a hangover in a, in hangover, but that's for 2016 EclipseCon. Okay, so first I would like to t uh, talk a bit about what we do, uh, why why scripting is uh, is important for us, who are our users. So we made we made open. Open Chrome, which is a which is a tool for um, for for uh, chemical analysis. What we what we basically do that uh, that uh, our 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 users have their have their samples, then they then they put it into a into a, in, into a, into a very narrow uh, tube, and then and then the and then the components uh, get separated. So here you can see these see these various components with these peaks, and then afterwards these uh, these uh, these components put into another instrument. These two instruments are connected, uh, and these um, and these uh, um, components usually single molecules, and then they and then in this other instrument they 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 get. Um, uh, they get uh, chopped into 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 smaller smaller pieces. Uh, this method called uh, chromatography and mass mass spectrometry, and it is one of the one of the widely used methods in um, in in chemical analysis. So that's why we we also have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, university personnel and then um, uh, companies who are who are who are working with uh, various uh, in various parts of the of the chemical industry. And to summarize, why is why uh, why scripting is 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 useful for for our users? So when uh, when uh, in science, people would like to, uh, people usually uh, submit papers, and for these papers, uh, you want to you want to uh, you want that these uh, steps can be can be can be re reputable, and uh, to and to uh, make it reputable, uh, you can use you can use scripting because it's because there you basically define a pipeline. In this, in the with uh, scripting, you can you can also change a few parameters and then see how the how the how the output changes, and this is only a, a few lines. So 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 our our uh, users use it um, a lot, and it was one of one of uh, one of the highly demanded features during the, the last half year. So uh, we decided that uh, that that we should implement a, a, a scripting solution into Open Chrome. Uh, to put scripting into an Eclipse RCP-based application, there are basically uh, three big parts that we that we had to um, go over. First, you have to put put the, the scripting interpreter into 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 your application. Then you also want to have some kind of console where you can see the output of of, of scripting. And then it is also uh, nice if you if you if if you provide more. More than 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 a, than, a, than a simple uh, note, notepad-like editor. So, 
what kind of what kind of uh, scripting solutions available in in um, in Java. So here I would like to. Uh, there are uh, there are uh, there are a few uh, scripting languages which uh, which works over over the GVM. The the main advantage of this that you can that that from the that from the uh, from the scripting you can easily access your uh, your your Java objects. Here I have listed three: Groovy, Jiton, which is a which is a is a um, um, Java-based Python implementation, and then Narshon, which is which is which is the which is a JavaScript engine uh, in, um, in, uh, in 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 Java 8. Basically, the scripting is available from. Uh, from uh, from 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 Java 6. So and during during the past years, th these solutions emerged. There is also another approach where you basically try to create a bridge between um, between 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 GVM and your and your scripting. Here, I would like to mention uh, Pi4j. It's uh, it's basically it's a kind of C Python bridge between uh, for uh, for GVM. Uh, one of one of one of the attendees, Tracy, is is uh, is heavily working on making uh, uh, putting Pi4j in Eclipse, and uh, and the the reason why some users uh, prefers this one over over Jiton, that uh, that that uh, that uh, in many numerical applications in Python, they are, these libraries have been have been written in C. And it is uh, uh, not really possible to to reach it through through uh, GVM. So if you want to use SciPy or 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 NumPy, then you need to which are one of which are two of the mostly used uh, Python libraries. Then you have to use Py4j. So how so? Uh, let's let's see how how can we implement a simple interpreter. So with Groovy, that you you basically define a, define a Groovy shell, then and then and then you say, okay, okay, Groovy shell, here is the here is the file, read it, and then and then run it. Of course, with Jiton, there is also something similar similar uh, available. Also, you have your you have your interpreter, and then you just put the uh, uh, pass the file and then you just execute it. But the question is: Is this is this is this is this really that easy? Uh, probably not, because then I could already end this talk. So, uh, what kind of what kind of issues have we have we faced when we when we in, when we integrated uh, Jiton? First. When I have integrated the interpreter, it was it was very nice, but we have a lot of uh, bundles in our Eclipse solution, and I and I and I couldn't reach them. So I have figured out that for that I need some kind of some kind of uh, special class loader that can uh, get these uh, OIGI bundles. Also, when you when you load these interpreters, they they uh, come with some kind of default settings, which uh, sometimes beneficial, sometimes less beneficial. Uh, you need to you need to uh, somehow uh, change the settings and then get rid of the less beneficial uh, settings. And you also want to meanwhile when you when you adjust these components, you want to make you want to write a clean code. So. Uh, first, uh, let's see the let's see the class loader. So basically, you um, a new class loader uh, has to be implemented, which basically the main thing is here. So if it if it doesn't find the class, then it can then you can then you can use the 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 bundle that you that that you get from the from from the activator and then it uh, looks out what's available in your in your eclipse uh, space and then it will and then it will load load the class we have been also also uh, 
I, I, I did not tell so far that we that uh, that uh, that open Chrome it is it uh, a large part of the code it is it, it is already hosted at uh, at uh, Eclipse Foundation and for that uh, we try to separate these separate these uh, bundles because there are some there, there there are some licensing issues what can you bring to the foundation what you want to uh, um, what is a special solution for your customers and. Um, and when you when when you use Jiton, uh, you can you can download the Jiton distribution. There are usually the two Jiton distribution. There is the there is uh, there is a standard one and there is the standalone one. In the uh, the difference between the two distributions, that the standalone one also also contain these these various uh, various Python libraries, these uh, basic collections and so on. That um, that uh, that it is available in the st standalone edition. You also want to put some because later we will use this uh, interpreter. You also want to make sure that you can export the path, so that that we have put into into this um, this uh, bundle. So yes, and then then let's go further and then and then and see how did we set up our uh, Python uh, interpreter. So here, here this is a this is a few lines from the code that I that I found important. For example, this uh, Jiton path is basically provided from that uh, from that uh, from that bundle, which uh, which contains the 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 Jiton jar. And and here you basically say that okay, uh, Jiton here is here is the here is the director here you can you can use this uh, this um, uh, built-in Python scripts. Because we have been also using a lot of jars, and we wanted to have a solution quickly, so we have we have uh, turned off uh, caching. Uh, there is also one uh, one object that one needs to know about in Jiton that this that this uh, Py system state is basically is the is the sys module in Jiton where you can where you can define how your how your system works, how the how, how the environment settings uh, uh, should be defined. And then here it is. It is. It is. It is very important that 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 you say that okay, please, please, please use use a class loader which can which can also also uh, import the ORGI bundles. And that's for the interpreter. And now I will turn uh, turn to the console. So in Eclipse you have this. Uh, you have this uh, small console view part, and we basically made something something very simple. So we have uh, created a method which basically checks whether this whether this uh, console is console is there, and then if it's there, it should be activated. If not, then it should be then it should be uh, created again. And and uh, why we need the console because uh, because uh, we want to ch we want to change that these uh, scripts shouldn't write to the standard input and output. We want that the, that the users can see uh, in the in in our applications the output, and then and then you can also also uh, say that okay that uh, that here is this message console. That basically this uh, get message console is the is the method that I have that I have shown before. Mm. Okay, I I have my cursor again, and then and then and then you can you can you can get the streams and then and then, and then you can say the say the interpreter that okay he is this he is this st uh, stream please please use it for the for the uh, um, for uh, for the out output i have i have also talked a bit about that um, that uh, we would like to have something more than a text editor which likes note notepad um Eclipse has its uh, built-in ed editor, but it doesn't uh, support uh, syntaxing and um, and uh, and some other features. But uh, but there is there is one very nice solution for Python development in uh, in uh, in the Eclipse ecosystem, and it is called PyDev. We have um, we have uh, we have we have used it 
to to have a nice editor in our soft software and then basically when you want to use an editor you can you can you can you, you can get it from the from the platform ui and then you can s uh, say your idea that that okay and please please open open an editor for that and then we will also see it uh, live how does this look like so so uh, this, this so this is how does uh, PyDev look like currently in our solution. Uh, of course, PyDev have some have some functions which uh, some settings which are uh, less uh, uh, less beneficial for our users. For example, whenever we have uh, started Open Chrome, then it asks us ask the users to support uh, PyDev development uh, that you can hide if you if you uh, set the properties. It also asks how how uh, PyDev should be uh, should um, should uh, Behave by default, and that and that you can basically access access PyDev's uh, preference store, and then and then set these settings. And now uh, you got an overview about uh, about uh, about the interpreter, the console, and the editor. However, it would be also uh, nice to see how does it uh, how does it work. So for that, I will launch Open Chrome. is here so this is this is what you see uh, you you can you can load the chromatogram here you can see that see those uh, see those peaks and then and then and then for and then for every every peak here you have a you have a scan with what you can what you can see here and then and then one one uh, one question is that okay um, how can we have this uh, information in this uh, sample? And then we would like to uh, like to uh, access it programmatically. We might want to do some kind of uh, basic manipulation on the data, and for that, we have we have uh, implemented here uh, that you can create a, a Python script. So I say okay, demo. Okay, this one is first not needed. How does it work? And then we can, first I have to save it and then we can run it. Oh, yes, this is Yes, and now you can see that uh, that uh, I have I have uh, written something there, and then it is printed in the console. Okay, but we would like to access access this uh, this um, this object. How do we do that? For that, we have some sample codes, which is here. Okay. So here, uh, let's see, so I have uh, copy-pasted the script in. What do we do here? Let's have a few words about it. So here in the, in the, in the, in this uh, first three lines, we basically import a Python, a Python package, this Java file, and then, a, and then a null, null progress monitor. But, uh, but what is, what is interesting that, uh, that we have these, we have this uh, we have these classes from from open chrome and we want that that, uh, that, that, that that the users can access these access these classes so here uh, you can use you can use python import import commands to 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 import these uh, classes then this then this uh, script script starts and then it will it will it will call the execute method And then here, what what happens? That we basically uh, define that okay, here is the file. Here is the file. Get it. 
then we have a then we have a we have a processing info which uh, which uh, which uh, is basically for when we when we, when we do some kind of operation in in open chrome then we then in this object we we, we store whether the whether whether the operation was was successful and the and the object and then here we say that okay raise the file so uh, there are uh, here is the here is the file. Uh, load it, and then and then we will get the processing info. Then then from this uh, processing info, we 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 get the we get the chromatogram. This uh, chromatogram is basically uh, this thing what you can what you can see here. And then and then and then there are there are there are the scans. These are basically corresponds to the peaks. And then we say that okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go through the through the scans, and then and then and, the, and then say how strong are the are the signals. So these uh, signals are here, which cannot be seen, but now you can see it. So here is a here is an example uh, script, and then we can also use our 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 our, our uh, Java ex exceptions if something goes goes wrong with this with this uh, process. If something goes wrong, then okay, then 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 then, then please please get this error message from their processing info. Okay, so that's for it, and now uh, I will run the script. And then here you can basically see these see these different um, different uh, scans and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the signal intensity in that in that console. You can see that the number uh, corresponds to that to what's in that in that window. So usually uh, with this chemical uh, chemical uh, analysis, we have to do a lot of transformation on our data, but uh, it is it is it is quite heavy to uh, implement every time, every time uh, a, a new bundle for that. And then with the scripting, we can we can do some kind of uh, basic prototyping, and then if it's if it's some if it turns out to be some kind of uh, highly used uh, feature, then we can also. Then we can then we can uh, implement it as a as a bundle. Okay, so that's for that's for that's for PyDev. We have we have also played a bit with uh, with um, with Ease. I need to add that uh, that uh, we currently we, we we compile against Eclipse Eclipse Luna. And then uh, is recently the the new development version, which uh, which which contains uh, a lot of cool features, and uh, and the uh, author of it, Christian uh, Pontesega, has uh, have have has given a given a talk about this these new features. But for that, uh, we will implement. We will uh, also use the new is when we will compile against Mars. So you can also use something similar here. What I didn't found out in this uh, older ease version that for somehow we, we it was not possible for us to copy paste multiple lines in. So it will be a bit. So I have to copy paste every uh, line um, by itself. Yes. Yes, but for me, it's. I just haven't figured out yet how to do that. But sorry. And. Yes, but I mean, drag and drop is not working. So that's what I have been uh, looking at yesterday. M uh, maybe we have. Uh, uh, we have been uh, playing it with recently, so that's why it is not working as expected, and uh, we are also using the old version, so I don't know.
Okay. So we can we can also use uh, is and then and then execute the exec execute these things. Uh, so maybe if I I have it just came to my mind that I have some screenshots, so it might be faster to show them. Okay, so play from current sign. Yes, so this is what I have shown before. Yes, I what I have uh, forgot to mention that uh, we use this uh, PyDev editor, and uh, but for some reason there we haven't figured out uh, yet how to include auto completion, and sometimes. Sometimes uh, PyDev tells us that things are not found. We have to bundle things together. Here is what I uh, tried to show it with is. And basically here we have we have uh, we have basically shown here uh, run the script here and then and then we have we have uh, we have printed out here uh, one of the scans. So um, that's for uh, that's for uh, scripting. Uh, so in the next version, we would like to we would like to uh, have auto auto completion uh, in the in the software. We would like to also also have a nice uh, debugging uh, functionality. We would like to also uh, use visualization. I have liked very much uh, Christian's talk about this uh, plotting in is. Uh, we will uh, uh, we would uh, definitely use that, and then when. Um, when uh, and we would like to also use uh, Pi4j uh, integration for 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 Jupiter. Jupiter is the is the new version of uh, of uh, IPython, which is a, which is a kind of interactive shell. So you can uh, launch your I, uh, IPython notebook and then and then you can uh, you can basically type in the browser and then you can also do some nice visualizations, which is something something that he, that is highly demanded by our our users. So I hope that uh, that that uh, we will have. Uh, have uh, these these features ready in the near near future. To summarize, I would like to also uh, I would like to thank for the for the scientific uh, working group. Uh, there have been uh, we have been uh, uh, very interested in 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 in, in scripting, and uh, this was the third talk about uh, scripting at this uh, EclipseCon. I would like to also thank the Ease and the and the PyDev developers for uh, for these nice nice tools and for and 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 for my colleagues uh, Philip and Andreas and uh, when I have been and I have also discovered that that uh, that the Stack Overflow is not is not uh, only useful as a as a as a Google landing page but it's also very useful when someone asks something. Uh, usually I I get an answer within one day so I would like to thank the people who helped me there. And in summary, I would like to uh, I would like to conclude here a few things. So 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 uh, Jiton uh, provided us a lot of a lot of powerful capabilities uh, to extend the functionality of of of, uh, of Open Chrome. Uh, it is. It, it also needs to be mentioned that uh, that uh, that uh, integrating uh, as a, a scripting engine it is not always that easy. But there are but there but there are a few solutions available. Uh, and if you want to implement uh, scripting, I would uh, definitely recommend to check out Ease and PyDev. We will we will also publish publish a, a, a blog post soon about with these presentations and uh, and and with the slides. And if you are interested in the in 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 the source code, you are very much welcome to 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 check out our our Open Chrome rep repositories. So basically, a large part is. Okay, it works. Um, 
a large part is 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 hosted at uh, Eclipse, but there are some parts which have been due to licensing issues uh, are at uh, GitHub. You can you can find our Jiton implementation under under EPL license on on GitHub. So uh, I I hope that many of you got interested in scripting and uh, feel free to check it out. And and uh, ending these uh, presentations, I would be I would be very happy to take a few questions. Any questions? Okay, then that's for today.